What's up guys, this is Cody here with Nimbix, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upload your data directly from your local machine onto the Nimbix cloud. That way you can use that data or data sets in your jobs on Jarvis. So the SFTP client we're going to be using today is FileZilla. So if you guys are familiar with this and you probably already have it on your computer, if you're not, then of course I'll put a link in the description below of this video as well as on the page of where this video is embedded. That way you guys can just click on it and then you just want to click on download FileZilla client. So you want to make sure that you're downloading the client, otherwise if you download the server then you're going to have some issues and it's not going to work. So make sure you're downloading the client and then once you have that installed you should be ready to go. So I've already downloaded and installed FileZilla onto my device. So you can see if I go ahead and open it up, this is what it looks like. So there's gonna be some inputs right up here at the top that you're going to have to uh, fill in. So right up here at the host, we're going to type in drop.jarvis.com. And that's all you have to put right there. As for the username, this is going to be your Jarvis username. So what username you signed up with on platform.jarvis.com. So for me, this is going to be CB Crouch. And your password is going to be your API key. So this is sometimes where the confusion happens. So what you wanna to do to get your API key is go over to uh, platform.jarvis.com and then you're gonna to wanna to log in and then just click on your name right here and then click on account settings. Right here is going to be your API key. So you can just double click it and then you know Command C or Control C depending on whether or not you're on a Mac or a Windows PC. And then you just go back over here paste that in and that is going to be your password of course you can always just type in port 22 just to make sure you're connecting and then just click quick connect and then if you get this right here that's fine just go ahead and click OK and it should go ahead and connect you directly to your slash data directory so your slash data directory is where you're going to want to save everything because this is the only location that your data is persistent. Of course, you can always create directories within the data directory, and those will also be persistent, but everything under the data directory will be persistent. Now, if this is the first time that you've used an SFTP client, then it could look a little confusing, but really it's not. You can see right here that this is the remote site, so everything in this box right here is the remote site, Everything over here is your local site. So this is going to be basically just your local PC. So you can see that I have my desktop right here and I have clicked right here uh, on my desktop this Nimbix test data. So if I go to my desktop, you can see I have Nimbix test data, which is actually just an image that we're gonna be using for a test. So right down here, the bottom pane, this is where you're actually going to be dragging your data or data sets in order to upload them directly to the remote site which is the Nimbix cloud. So depending on how you wanna do this, you can basically just drop it directly into data or if you wanna create a folder, then you can do so just by right clicking, create a directory, and we'll just name this Nimbix test. Click okay, and then you can see right here we have Nimbix test. So if we double click on this, it's going to go into that directory and then we can drop our Nimbix test data right here and it should show up right here after we uh, transfer that. So all we have to do right here is take this, again this is just an image just because it's small, it'll transfer quickly. So you can see that our data is right down here. We're gonna right click and click process queue. So that should transfer really quick and go directly into our Nimbix test directory. So this is where it's going to be when we wanna access it directly within our jobs. So once you've successfully uploaded all the data, then the rest is really simple. So you can see here, if I go to my dashboard tab, you'll notice that I've already started a job here. So I just wanted to show you that this data is obviously accessible within an NAE or within the desktop of a Nimbix job. So we're just gonna click on unpack here. So this should bring up uh, our file selection. You can see here is our data directory right under home slash Nimbix. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And if we were looking for our uh, test data that we just uploaded, we can click on this Nimbix test. And this is actually not gonna show up right here unless we change this to all files. And you can see our Nimbix test data is right there. Now, of course, this is just a particular application. This is IcePack. So it's gonna be a little bit different depending on what application that you're running. But you can also always access your data if you just minimize the application right here. And there's actually going to be a data directory on your desktop. So you can just go ahead and double click on that. And then you can see all of your folders and files are gonna be right there for you. So that's basically how you're going to upload data in order to use it on Jarvis. 
Now the same thing goes for transferring from the Nimbus cloud to your local desktop as well. So if we go back to the FileZilla here, again, we would just want to drag something from over here. So for instance, if we wanted to just drag this back down, you can see we'll take the data that we uploaded directly to, so this could be you know, your solution or any type of job output, and then you can just drag it back down to your desktop. So you just wanna make sure that you're selected on your desktop or wherever you wanna save it here, and then you would just do the exact same thing. You would process the queue, and you can see it's going to transfer that. Now, of course, this has the exact same file name, uh, so it's, you're gonna get this little pop-up right here. So I'm just gonna rename it, click OK, and we're just gonna rename it to Nimbix Test Data 2, click OK. It should transfer, and then if I go over to my desktop, you can see Nimbix Test Data 2. So that's really all you have to do in order to transfer data from your local PC to the Nimbix Cloud, as well as from the Nimbix Cloud to your local PC. So I hope this helped you guys out. And of course, if you run into any issues or you have any questions, just be sure to reach out to us at support at and we will take care of you as soon as possible. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.